Hello everyone and welcome to our new video where today we are going to be checking out the top 5 best Lenovo laptops in the market in 2018. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to find out the price and more information about these laptops, you can check out the link down in the description and the comment section below. Also, if you could be one of these laptops, which one would it be? Leave your reply in the comment section below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 we have the Lenovo IdeaPad 710S Plus. The Lenovo IdeaPad 710S Plus comes in a bright silver color and it sports a stylish yet very clean and modest design. If it weren't for the slimmer, darker bezels, it would look very identical to a MacBook Air at the first glance. The size and the keyboard are quite similar, though the Lenovo model has some obvious improvements, including the small fingerprint sensor located beneath the keyboard. A great inclusion with this model is the JBL Stereo sound alongside Dolby Audio Premium, which means that music and movies sound pretty great. This particular model has a 13.3 inch display. This Full HD IPS display has an anti-glare coating to keep reflections down and there's a small webcam integrated into the bezel above it, which has decent quality, pushing out a 720p resolution and it is joined by a single built-in microphone which is good enough for video calls. The IPS panel produces accurate, punchy colors with satisfyingly deep blacks, adding great viewing angles and minimal reflections on the matte finish and it's a great viewing experience. Inside, you've got an Intel Core i7 processor, which is a dual-core chip with a hyper-threading so that it can process 4 threads at once. More importantly though, it includes integrated Intel HD Graphics 620, which is a surprisingly powerful integrated graphics solution, making this tiny machine capable of playing some games. This is backed up by 8GB of RAM and a fast 512GB of SSD. The keyboard is nicely backlit in white and has two brightness levels, as well as the option to turn it off. The overall layout of the keyboard is also excellent, with no squashed up or oddly placed keys. Even the key action is reasonably well defined, so it's easy to tell when you press the key properly, which is good for touch type typing at decent pace. The biggest drawback of the 710S Plus is its below average battery life. Even though it can last for 5 or 6 hours while surfing the web via Wi-Fi, I still think that this is not enough because other laptop models can do a lot more than that. However, if you don't plan to use this laptop for more than 5 or 6 hours without charging it, this won't be a huge problem. Overall, the thin and light IdeaPad 710 Plus Relan display, comfy keyboard and sweet sound make it a joy to use and I would say that it's a good laptop overall. Next up, at number 4 we have the Lenovo Yoga 720. The Lenovo Yoga 720 is a 2-in-1 laptop with premium features at a reasonable price. It offers solid performance, an all-metal chassis and a vibrant screen. The aluminum rectangle that makes up the Yoga 720 is really small. It's sleek enough that it looks smaller than 13 inches, which is a pretty good thing. Under the lid, the display is surrounded by a black bezel and there's a backlit keyboard and a fingerprint reader on the aluminum deck. Along the left edge, you'll find two USB-C ports. One of them supports the Thunderbolt 3 for speedy connections to newer external hard drives or displays and the other USB-C port is for USB 3.0 peripherals and both can charge the laptop using the included USB-C power adapter. The right edge sports a power button and a conventional USB 3.0 connector. A total of 3 USB ports is adequate for 13 inch convertible at this price and the Thunderbolt 3 support is a great addition if you plan to keep your Yoga 720 for more than a year or two. Under the hood of this model, you will find the Intel Core i5-7200U processor accompanied with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD. This is good enough to handle most of the tasks you throw at it. The battery in the Yoga 720 will give you a full day of work with time to spare. It can last for around 8 hours and 30 minutes on normal use and a bit less when gaming or doing any other heavy work on it. The speakers are mounted on the bottom of the chassis toward the front and are downward facing. The sound from the Yoga 720 is about what you'd expect from a thin laptop, tiny and a bit anemic, even at higher volumes. The keyboard might not feel as firm as on one of the company's professional ThinkPad models, but the keys still have a fair amount of travel to make typing comfortable and they are well spaced, clearly labeled and brightly backlit. Also, Lenovo made the shift key larger than its processors, resulting in fewer errors when typing. Overall, the 13.3 inch Lenovo Yoga 720 has a premium look and feel, but without the big price tag and is a pretty nice little 2-in-1 for students. At number 3 we have the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga. Whether you use it in a laptop, tablet or tent mode, Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Yoga 2-in-1 is a productivity powerhouse. This lightweight 14-inch laptop combines a premium carbon fiber chassis with a comfortable keyboard, vibrant screen, accurate stylus and a long battery life. 
This 2-in-1 doesn't come cheap, but business users who want fantastic flexibility and portability will find it worth every penny. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga is a masterclass of a convertible, with excellent build quality, reliable performance and a mountain of usable features for both consumers and business users, so there's a lot to like here. Like other ThinkPad Yogas, this model uses a strong dual hinge design to let you bend the screen back into tent, stand and tablet modes. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga packs a surprising amount of connectivity into its thin frame. The right side features a Kensington lock slot, an HDMI connector, a USB 3.0 port, a mini RJ45 internet connector and a 3.5mm audio jack. The left side features a USB Type-C Thunderbolt port and two additional USB 3.0 ports. Not only that, but there is also a micro SIM and micro SD card reader included also, so basically you can connect anything you want to this laptop. The notebook also features the Lenovo ThinkPad Pen Pro Stylus, which supports 2048 levels of pressure. The pen has a dedicated compartment along the lower right side of the chassis, which also serves as a charger for the pen. The device's Core i7-6500U processor is great for heavy-duty business and school applications, and maybe even lighter workstation apps. The device runs well with multiple apps and browser tabs open, and absolutely destroys Office 365. As for the keyboard, the keys have a good depth to them, are very punchy and are very easy to type with for a long amount of time. The trackpad is large, responsive and doesn't have a noticeable click feeling. Another neat feature of the X1 Yoga is that the keys retract when the keyboard is folded into tablet mode, that way you don't accidentally press the keys while holding it. X1 Yoga also comes with a fingerprint scanner, which is a great security feature and makes it faster to log in. Face scan would be faster and more convenient, but on the other hand, it may not be as secure. I am sure it was a calculated trade-off on Lenovo's part. Overall, I think that this is a very nice laptop, which has a ton of features. However, the price is a bit high compared to most of the laptops in the market. Next up, at number 2, we have the Lenovo Legion Y520. The Lenovo Legion Y520 is a laptop aimed mostly at gamers, but can also be used for other heavy-duty tasks as well. The lid is black plastic with a woven pattern and a few lines that make it look aggressive but still approachable. A series of grates on the back wrap around the bottom of the computer and framed of two sets of vents, which makes them seem more like an intentional decoration than a technological necessity. Although it's made of plastic, the Legion Y520 feels solid. When you lift the lid, you'll find the 15.6-inch 1080p display with a thick bezel, a red backlit keyboard and a touchpad. The touchpad is surrounded by a red line and some plastic that frames it as a trapezoid. This laptop weighs 5.6 pounds, which is pretty light compared to some other laptops in this category, so that means that the Legion is very portable and easy to carry around in a backpack or a laptop bag. As for the connectivity, it has a ton of options. It has a Kensington lock slot, a power jack, an internet jack, a USB 2.0 port and a headphone jack. On the right side, you'll find a USB Type-C port, an SD card reader, a pair of USB 3.0 ports and an HDMI output. There's nothing like a good Lenovo keyboard and the Legion Y520s is a pleasure to type on. With 1.8mm of vertical travel and 77 grams of force required to press the keys, the keyboard is super comfortable. Under the hood, this beast has a 7th generation Intel Core processor, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti graphics and hybrid storage for face-based gaming. The Legion might be portable, but you'll need to bring a charger with you because the battery doesn't last as long as it was expected to. It can last for around 3 hours and a half if you use it normally browsing the web, so if you plan to do some heavy duty tasks on this laptop without the charger around you, you should get a power bank or another laptop because this laptop just won't work for that. To finish off our list, at number 1 we have the Lenovo Legion Y720. Lenovo's gaming division might be under a new brand, but that doesn't mean its core mission has changed. Whether it's an idea pad or the newly rebranded Legion, Lenovo is focused on offering appealing mid-tier gaming laptops. The Lenovo Legion Y720 proves no different, packaging an Intel Core i7 CPU and an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1060 GPU for a reasonable price. The 15.6 inch display sits on a single center display hinge that sort of makes it look like the edges of the screen floating in mid-air. Underneath that are two red grille speakers that contrast nicely against the black soft touch deck. The bezels are a bit thick on the display, but on the other hand, that the inside of the device looks great and the soft touch material provides a comfortable wrist rest for a long gaming session. This laptop is far heavier than most of the competing devices, but the extra weight gives it a bit more durability than other laptops in this category. The Lenovo Legion Y720 has an extensive array of connectivity options. 
The left side of this device features a Kensington lock slot, a power connector, an internet jack, a USB 3.0 port and a headphone microphone combo jack. The right side houses an HDMI connector, two USB 3.0 ports, a mini display port and a Thunderbolt 3 port. Even with this bulky frame, the heart of a travel-friendly laptop resides inside the Lenovo Legion Y720. This laptop has a longer battery life than the Y520 we mentioned earlier, even though this model has a lot more powerful components. Overall, I think that this is the best laptop that Lenovo has produced so far, because it is durable, powerful, has a great battery life and looks overall amazing. I would highly recommend this laptop to anyone that is looking for a gaming laptop or for someone who needs a laptop that can easily handle heavy-duty tasks. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video. If you want to find out the price and more information about these laptops, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. And if you have any questions related to them, you can leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.